Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be kind of a soft, neutral, warm look, you guys. Like I've been on the neutral looks, you know, lately. So I decided to do something really, really nice and warm and soft every day-ish if it's gonna be an everyday makeup for you. It all depends. Sometimes when I say everyday, people kind of are always on edge whenever they see an everyday makeup. Mind you, and my everyday makeup might not be your everyday makeup, might not be another person's everyday makeup. So whatever makeup you want to call this that will suit you, it's all okay. So I'm going to just go ahead and get started. I just started. have to put this hair behind me. I think I'm going to start from the eyes because it's been so long I did anything for my brows. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead, cope my brows and also trim it because my my brow is a is a whole mess i think i haven't worn makeup for the past one two weeks now so my brows are bushy i just have to use this and i like to go below my brow and also above it so kind of trim it once i comb it it's now easier for me to see like the hair that is too long then I'll just go in with my scissors and trim it so I like to go in with benefit precisely my brow in the shade 4.5 and I'm just gonna quickly use it to fill in my brows and this is actually a perfect shade for me guys you know how sometimes you use a brow product and it's too dark or it's too light this one just gets the job done and you know it gives me the perfect um shade for my brow this pencil is 25 dollars for it to be breaking i hate it when kind of my re my retractable pencils when they break off it's so annoying because it's kind of a waste you can use it and the, the 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 pencil is so expensive that you don't even want anything to waste <laughs> i look like one small witch with this my brow guys but don't worry everything is gonna come out nice just comb i'm gonna clean it out with my covergirl full spectrum concealer For this look i'm not really sure what i'm going for in terms of the eyes but all i know is i want a very warm um makeup look today so we're gonna see what we come up with okay so all the brushes i'm using today is of course from beauty crush cosmetics you guys know i'm so in love with their brushes and i'm going to be using from their green collection the bc210 this is the soft precision crease i'm just going to use it and then i will use my norman cosmetics katagena magic palette let me just go in with this and this for now and then we'll see what happens next just put it right right here it's kind of a very nice warm um orange color like to apply and then go in with this very nice fluffy brush and make sure I blend everything out so I'm adding a little bit of this kind of goldish um, sparkly eyeshadow right on my lid I'm gonna line my waterline with my LA Girl black eyeliner then I'm going to go in and create a very nice simple winged liner. Okay, so we're on to the favorite part which is the skin. You guys know I love kind of my foundation, my concealer and all those good stuff. So I'm going to go in and... Hey, can you tell me to stop? I'm going to go in and spread my face with... um glow recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist guys this right here is very 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 um needed especially if you want to go for more like a soft um 
Mm. Smells so good. More like a soft neutral look. So I like to go in and spray my face for primer. I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer mixed with um Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. This is their long wear foundation grip. I always like to apply my primer and give it a little minute to you know absorb into the skin I always notice that when I apply my primer and go ahead and apply my foundation immediately it doesn't really give me the kind of finish I like or like when I give it maybe a minute or two at most two minutes to completely absorb so that's exactly what I will do just apply the primer leave it to kind of absorb give it a minute or two and then go in with the foundation okay so for the foundation i'm going to be using my urban decay stay naked um foundation and my um two face bond this way matte foundation the reason i like to mix this two is the fact that the two face is actually look is a red let me shake it first it has kind of a dark red undertone to it meanwhile this one is Kind of a very light um, yellow undertone so by the time I mix the two it gives me my exact shade and then I'm gonna go in with the lighter one and just just to mix it in and then to blend I like to use my Beauty Crush Cosmetics um, 102 round buffer foundation this huge green one it's so huge that you don't even need to do a lot of work once you blend and blend it completely blends everything and it gives a very nice perfect finish you guys can see how red this is but don't worry <laughs> we're gonna make it work is this um these two faces the problem they burn this way foundation i think i have the i'm using the shade in mahogany and mahogany has more like um a red undertone to red meanwhile my undertone is yellow that's the only reason it looks orangey and it looks kind of red orange <laughs> this is the only time i always regret doing my brows because if you're not careful, you're going to erase the brows you just did. Alright, so for highlight, I'm also going to be using Laura Mercier and Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. I'm just going to pop it right on my under eye. And using concealer actually helps bring in light. And also, I like to use a concealer that is... Um, I would say two to three shades lighter because especially um since you guys saw that I use a foundation that it's kind of off from my skin tone so using a concealer that is two to three shades lighter and also a concealer that has more of a yellow undertone to it it will just help to blend in and also balance with the foundation and also with the rest of my face I'm gonna go in and blend and I'm also using Beauty Crush Cosmetics and Blender Absolutely love the quality of their blender guys. Just one two three and you're all done with your blending And they do a good job whether wet or dry. This one. I'm actually using it dry And look at this blended in so nicely Makeup is so therapeutic. This is actually one of the things I love to do for self-care guys because makeup is actually very very therapeutic. So whenever I apply makeup, I'm like whoa, like the transformation. Just gonna go ahead and apply translucent powder on all the areas I applied my concealer. Okay, so since we're going for a very soft look, I'm going to go ahead and warm up my skin with Dalton and bronzer. It's been so long I used this bronzer, guys, but I absolutely love it. If you want to get that very nice sun kiss glow, this is the bronzer for you. Absolutely love it.
just put it right here look at that and I love the fact that it doesn't come out like so harsh so you can always build it up the way you want and also sometimes I like to kind of use it as a blush so just do it like this okay so to warm up my cheeks I'm gonna go in and apply blush and I'm using this one from NYX this is the NYX double day blush this is just gonna add a little bit of warmth to my face and sometimes I also like to um, go in with my blush brush and just dab it kind of all over my face especially if you're using a warm um, blush it actually helps a lot with warming up your skin okay so let's get some highlight popping i'm gonna be using the um ofra mid palette midi palette um in the shade new beginning it comes with two blushes and one highlight so i'm gonna be using this highlight right here and i think this is the uh, rodeo drive highlight just pop it right here Ooh. Okay, so for the lips, I think I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty. Um, what is this called? Huda Beauty. I don't know what this is called, but this is the one that comes with the lip shaped um, palette. I'm just gonna use the liquid lipstick but then i'm going to use my la girl um chocolate lip liner to line my lips this is my favorite lip liner guys and i'm already out of it i have to go order some I like to use the bottom of my pencil to blend my lip product and it actually works it does an amazing job I think I'm gonna highlight my inner tear dot it's looking so bare so I'm just gonna pop this right in there oh this is my holy grail highlight um, for my inner tear dot and I purposely didn't um, put any eyeshadow on my lower lashes because I didn't want it to be too busy so I just left my lower lashes alright guys I think this is all there is to this makeup look I was thinking should I make the lips um, glossy or just leave it this way for some reason I just feel like leaving it this way but let me know do you guys think I should mm. I think I'm just gonna leave it this way guys because I was thinking should I put it glossy I think I'm just gonna leave it this way guys I feel like it looks really good just being neutral on like uh, I'm kind of um I'm tempted to add this lip gloss to it but I'm always on lip gloss so I'm not quite sure but I think I'm just gonna leave it this way guys I love the brown look of it all oh. Who is scaring me? Stop it. I love the brown look of it all. But yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to hit that like button below. I notice sometimes you guys watch my videos, but you forget to hit that like button. So please, it really does help. Like hitting that like button really helps. So please don't forget to hit that like button below. And also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And till my next video, I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.
I don't know. I don't know. You the fuck Rosie. Make up your mind. Your mind, yeah. Make up your mind. I'm on to love.